what is up you guys welcome back to my channel this is your friend Karishal and today we are going to learn another ukulele tutorial and for today's video we will be learning together Nasan Ka Oluna by Mars Mingo yung totoo um nagstream ako sa kantang to from 8 am until tonight sobrang gustong 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 gusto ko talaga yung kantang to so that's the reason why i actually filmed this in an instant so medyo hindi ko siya kabisado talaga kantahin but i just really love the song to be honest and since wala pang tutorial ng kantang to so i'm going to make one for you and hope na magugustuhan niyo hindi tatagalog na char again pagbago pa kayo sa channel ko, please do not forget to click that subscribe button below and always ring the bell so that you will be notified for new videos just like this. And also, please do grab your ukulele and as well as your kapo. Tada! Because ilalagay natin siya sa ating ukulele and on the sixth fret. Just like this. Okay. So, ilagay natin siya sa sixth fret ng ating ukulele and ito, hindi disregard na muna natin siya para maging design na lang siya. Because basically, kapag may kapo na kayo, you'll start your first fret dito, next to the kapo. kapo. So, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and so on. Alright. Again, before kayo maglagay ng kapo, dapat nakatune na yung ukulele niyo sa standard tuning and that's G, C, E, and A. Okay, medyo matas na siya because I have my kapo, but without the kapo, it should sound like this. Medyo maluwag na rin yung string ng ukulele ko, so try ko mag-order online para ma-change siya kasi overused na siya! Okay, anyway, let's start with the chords. Yung chords natin, very easy lang. So let's start with D minor, chord of G, and then E minor, and then C. That's intro na, di ba? And then A minor. And then F. Naman tayo sa ating pa-closer look. So guys, pag hindi nyo pa alam yung chords, then let's start with our chord tutorial. Yung first is yung D minor. So place your index finger sa first fret, second string. Middle finger sa second fret, fourth string. And then yung ring finger nyo sa second fret, third string. And dapat ganito yung tunog. Hindi pala malinis yung kuko ko kasi na garden ako. Sorry. Next. <laughs> Ang duyot! Anyway, next is yung G. Chord of G. So, place your index fingers. Second fret, third string. Middle fingers. Second fret, first string. And ring fingers. Third fret, second string. Dapat ganito yung tanong. <laughs> Ganda, no? Next is E minor. Place your index finger on the first, second fret's first string. 3rd fret, 2nd string, and middle finger, uh, ring finger. So, 4th fret, 3rd string. Dapat ganito yung tanong. Okay. But in my case, sobrang nasanay ako sa ganito. So, same pa din siya, but yung nawala lang yung sa 3rd uh, fret, 2nd string. Tapos, minove ko lang yung finger ko. So, 2nd fret, 1st string, and then 4th fret, 3rd string. Okay. Actually, same lang siya. Okay. Next is yung chord of C, which is my favorite. Hindi ko talaga ako magsasawa magsabing favorite ka siya. So, place your index fingers sa um, any of your finger, to be honest, sa first string ng ating third fret. Ganyan. And dapat din ito yung tunog. Okay. Another single string chord here na gagamitin natin ay yung A minor. So, place your middle finger dito sa ating second fret fourth string. And dapat din ito yung tunog. Alright. Then, Ganyan lang siya. Ilagay mo lang yung index finger mo sa 1st fret 2nd string para meron kang F. Alright. So, yun na yung ating chord sa kantang to. Very easy lang. I told you. Next is doon tayo sa ating strumming pattern together with the chord progression. So, for the intro, yung chords natin ay D minor and then G and then E minor and then C. Balik sa D minor G and then E minor and F. Alright? So, yung strumming pattern na gagamitin natin for D minor, yung first batch ng D minor and E minor, parang, um, ano siya, strum and pluck. So, sa ating intro, dapat ganito, down, one, two, down, one, two, down, one. Dapat ganun yung tunog niya. And then, shift, press a G, down, one. So, 
Alright, let's go back to D minor. Down, 1, 2, down, 1, 2, down, 1, G. And then, same yung D minor and E minor natin. Then, C. And then, yung C naman, same siya sa G. Okay, dapat ganito siya. Ganon, diba? And then for the first, second batch naman ng intro natin, D minor G, same again. And then pagdating mo ng E minor, one down strong. And F, one down strong. So, ganun lang kadali. And ito lang yung chord na medyo complicated. So, whatever will be your plucking style, then go with it as long as you're comfortable. In my case, ito lang yung pinaka-basic and easy na naisipan ko nung nakinig ako sa kantang to. So, I hope it will work as well as inyo. Next is for the verse, the refrain, and the chorus. Itong tatlong to, tat isa lang yung ating strumming pattern. For the verse, the chord are C and A minor and you're just gonna repeat it twice and the chords are down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Back to C and A minor. And then after Nian is yung ating refrain. So refrain such as D minor, G, E minor. Then repeat it twice and then F and G repeat it again. So, dapat ganito. Same lang yung strumming pattern natin, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Lang. So, so, napapansin nyo sa refrain natin, medyo tag one phrase lang siya ng down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and then switch. Compared sa verse natin, kasi inulit natin yung C and then A minor, right? But that's actually it. Same lang yung strumming pattern natin, kaya naulit-ulitin mo siya. So, sa so chorus naman, same lang yung ating strumming pattern. Nasaan ka? instrumental. Yung instrumental natin, same lang yung chords niya sa intro. Pag intro kasi, di ba, D minor, G and then E minor and then C, D minor, G, E minor and F. Yung kaibahan lang is yung strumming pattern. Um, so, yung strumming pattern natin is down, 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 up and then switch. switch the time mag up like this one two three four up one two three four up one two three four up one two three four. okay and then try the bar so D minor left E my G then E minor and then F Every time I have E minor and F, stick talaga tayo sa one down strum. I went, oh, kailangan natin mag-stick sa muling tao. Anyway, let's have here naman yung bridge. The reason na ganun yung ating strumming pattern sa ating instrumental, para pag-transition mo sa bridge, hindi ka na mahihirapan sa pag-strum. Kasi isa lang yung strum. Okay, yung bridge kasi is composed of two different ano, chords. Yung first chords niya ay D minor C and then i-repeat mo lang siya twice. And then, yung second chord niya ay F, G, C, and then repeat mo na naman siya. So, sa D minor and G, yung strumming pattern natin is same sa instrumental. Gawin mo ako sa yung kagandahan Tapos pag 
Tanging sa liwanag mo, down, down, up, up ka na. Tanging sa liwanag mo, hindi mag-iisa. Tanging sa liwanag mo, hindi nangin. Ang yabag! And then right after that is meron tayong verse. Yung verse natin, Kailangan mo nang lumisan. Dito, pagbalik natin sa verse, medyo huwag natin is, huwag tayo harsh pagdating sa strum. Let it as soft as possible. Let it be as soft as possible pala. So, da 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 And then, refrain. Harsh na. Da 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 same na siya ng outro. So, always strum it as soft as possible. So, like, um, same lang siya, pero kailangan mo lang isoft. Wala lang sobrang harsh. Like, Dito ka na la na na da 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 Oh, yeah, that's it. The song is very easy, very beginner friendly. Yung kaibahan lang is meron tayong kapo. Yeah, but I think it's really cute with the kapo, by the way. The song is really cute as well. So, shout out Mars Mingo. Sana marinig nyo to mag-comment kayo. At least say hi to me. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and sing this song together. Meron tayong chords and lyrics sa ating description box. And meron din tayong chords and lyrics sa ating play along. Hindi ko... Guys, by the way, disclaimer lang, hindi ako marunong talaga kumata ng Tagalog song. So, kapag hindi ko siya kabisada yung pagkanto, huwag naman judgmental, bawal. So, just try to do it on your own. Kunwari ako na lang yung ano, parang pang, pang libog lang, pang, ga, pang, para malibog lang mo, para malibog lang mo, not para malibog lang mo song pagkanta. So, let's start! Thank you. 
that's it guys. Learning the song comes with an easy strumming pattern and easy chords um, with a couple and a sixth fret. And I hope na meron kayong natutunan for our tutorial for today. And again, thank you so much for watching my most recent video, Pinaubaya by Moira. Thank you so much for the good feedbacks as well. I'm trying my best to be a very good tutor. Actually, I'm very good tutor. Good lang. <laughs> but guys, again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Pasanjo na, medyo mahaba ato tong video na to. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope to see you in my next video. Adios!